Even if you've been paying attention to every email I sent you, there are some new issues that uh, have cropped up that you need to know about, uh, and I don't want to have you to have to come in for a meeting. So please uh, take a listen. I'll go as fast as I can, and we'll cover them. First thing is that, like last semester, there are placement tests to better place the students, but the first thing I want you to know is we expect those students to be placed before your second meeting. So you explain to them that they can go to the lab, everybody helps in the lab to give them these tests and place them, uh, but they need to do it before your second meeting. After that, we're not going to allow any more. We don't want them to put that off. Now, uh, the brand new part one students, they could take those tests before and they could uh, basically get themselves all the way up to test five if they did well. I don't think anybody did. Some people, a lot of people got up to test three though. And new this semester, we have tests for someone that's starting new in part two to place themselves beyond uh, six. So they can test out of six, test out of seven or whatever. Now if they only get one shot at these, so if they don't, pass, then, then send them back to the beginning of that section. Now, let me show you where they are. If you go into uh, the, the, the grade book of the individual student, you'll see that you can cursor down. We, not to confuse anybody, we have we haven't put them at the beginning. Uh, Professor Poem put them way down at the end because you're only going to use them once. And hopefully you can see, I'll go down to the end, here they are. There's the test one through five. And here's the part two, uh, the ability for someone to take uh, to place themselves out of test six, out of seven A, etc. So that's where they are, and we hope you at least give it, uh, each student a chance to to place if they want to. Uh, I found that they also get a little different attitude. Those ones that thought they knew everything, and when you give them a test, all of a sudden they go, oh, you know, I don't know it, and I need to take a different approach." So we'd like you to consider doing that, but again, you have to do it before your second meeting. Or they have to do it. It's on them, I would say. Okay? Now, last semester, there apparently was some confusion about the attendance grades. The attendance grades are required. Okay? A student's not going to get a correct grade unless you go in and put an attendance grade, and they're separate for each day. Ideally, we want you to meet with each student individually every week. That's what you're there for. You're motivating the students. And we want you to input that grade with the student. Now, if they're not there, obviously you can't do that, but you need to input something and give them some feedback as to, you know, how they're doing. Uh, some of you use the goal sheet. That would be great as to where they should be in the future and what they've done in the past, etc. But you will need to put in some semblance of an attendance grade each and every week, okay, and it'll it'll show on the uh, summary so they can see where they're at, okay. I want to make sure that everyone is doing the same thing with the notebooks. This is an important thing that the students need to learn before they go on. They have to know how to do a notebook, how to get organized, and you can help them with that. Uh, I don't want any uh, buffer period at the beginning of the semester. Check notebooks. They are required in the lab. And, and if, if someone needs some, I'll, I'll, you can give them a notebook. Okay, but make sure they have two notebooks and they know what to do with them. Not only are you going to teach that, because it's on a poster up front, but give them feedback both in class, individually, and in the lab. Don't just see that they have a notebook. Look at it. Tell them how it, you know, what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong. Hopefully by the end of the semester, hopefully by mid-semester, everybody understands what goes in which notebook and it got themselves organized. That's the idea. But if some of you don't do it, it makes it hard for the people that do. So please, let's do this as a team. It can be done. Two more things. During exam week, you don't have to make up the exam. Okay, You don't have to grade it which is why we're going to ask everyone to be in the lab during your uh, regular class time and also during your regular lab time. Now, if you have another assignment that you're not going to be uh, allowed to do that, please 
let me know. I'll, I'll be sending out an email in a couple months just to make sure. Let me know if you can't make both your class time and your lab time during exam week. And last thing, this is very different, pay attention. Uh, you're going to be required to place each and every student at the beginning, even the brand new Part 1 students. We had some Part 2 students that, that were working in Part 1 by mistake. So what we did was uh, put a, a, a date deadline in Part 1 so that that can't happen. I'll show you where that is. You see we have a due date for 1.2, the very first section. We don't have any due dates for anything else. So, so you'll have to go in and delete that due date if someone needs to do section 1.2. So you'll actually have to place your part one brand new students. Think of it this way. You'll have to place each and every student. We want to maximize the amount of your meeting with each student. Okay? And we want to minimize students doing incorrect sections and wasting their time. So that's the idea of that. I hope you understand. So with that said, if you have any other questions regarding this, please don't, don't hesitate to email me, but that's everything that's new, I believe. So uh, dig in and good luck and thank you for your help.